So Ford's come a long way since the E350. This is the Ford Transit 148. We're just about to put some flares on this vehicle. But what I'm really excited to talk to you about is the fact that we now have the flares for the E350. And this is a vehicle that we're just about to put some flares on as well. Now, as everybody knows, this whole E-Series was discontinued by Ford in 2014. And I probably get a dozen phone calls a week from people asking, are you ever gonna make flares for the E350, the full E-Series? There's the E100, I guess the E150, E250, E350. This happens to be an E350 and all the shapes are the same. But one of the things that's super important to, to know is there's, there's uh, two different types of vehicles. Of course, you've got the cargo van and you also have the passenger van. The difference is there's a window here. Now in the E350, when you have a passenger van, this section here is recessed and there's actually a little bit of a flange here. And that window is mechanically mounted. It's not a bonded window. And so as folks know that have the passenger van, you take the, the nuts off, you take those bolts out and you can release the window. Once the window is released, the flare is designed to fit right along that flange and you just use the adhesive that we provide and you put it right into place. And that's how you mount the flares, whether it's on a cargo van or whether it's on the passenger van. Now listen, the passenger van is really simple to know where it goes because you just take the window out and put the flare in the same spot. You have to use the reference points on the inside of the cargo van so you know exactly where to mount the flare on this particular vehicle. There's also an extended length version of the E-Series vans and all those are totally fine. Um, you're just gonna always mount it in the same spot that you'd be mounting the factory window from a passenger van. So listen, we're really, really excited to be able to, to offer the flare for this, for this vehicle. And it's been a long time coming, man. This van has been around uh, for a long time. It was discontinued, as I said, in 2014. And I never thought we'd end up creating a, a flare for it, but I get so much demand from, from folks about this particular vehicle. So one of the things I, I wanna note about uh, the test fits that we just finished. We just created the test fits, um, working with some of our initial customers to make sure that the, the flares fit exactly right on a wider range of vehicles. And we've just finished that, we're really happy. But here's some things that we had to manage as we went through the design process for the E-Series flare. One is, if you own one of these, you know, so really wide vehicle in the middle of the vehicle, but it tapers pretty significantly toward the bottom and it definitely tapers significantly toward the top. And so when we designed the flare, we wanted to make sure that we provided 80 inches of bed length and you can achieve that in the bottom of the flare. The flare is tapered. So in the back portion, you get 80 inches of bed length from, from flare wall to flare wall. The other thing that um, we think is important as we were working with this vehicle is not only the, the tapered shape here, um, but the way that the van tapers from this forward portion of the van down to the rear portion of the van, you'll notice that it actually tapers this way. And so we had to mod modify the flare to be able to accommodate that as well. Now in the flares that we created, there's a solid version on this side and a solid version on the other side, but we've also integrated the new flare space slider window, which is the same as the bunk window you see on all vans. And you can integrate that on this side of your van or on the other side of the van. The last thing I wanna point out is on the other side of this van, there's two styles of doors. There's the barn door that swing open and you can put a stopper on your, on your barn doors if they swing all the way open and will interfere with the flare, that's not a problem. The other type of van is probably 2% of all the vans that were produced in the E-Series have a slider door. And there's a company that makes a slider mechanism that's actually wider so that the door can slide out around flares over your wheels that have been common for a while, but also now accommodates the flare that you're gonna put here. So they're available now. These flares are really expensive to, to design and uh, the molds to put together. So we hope you like them. We hope you buy a bunch of them and uh, they're available right now at flarespace.com.